Hello again and welcome to another video tutorial. In the previous video I showed you how to work with resin parts. This tutorial will be about painting them. I am going to focus on painting engine of a Spitfire aircraft. It is not necessary to apply any primer. Acrylic paints adhere to resin very well. Base paint is a black XL1. I cover the engine with clear varnish when the base paint is dried. It is very difficult to paint the Rolls Royce label only by hand. So I let split white all paint into the label and clean it with cotton swab. Engines were much worn during the World War II and maintains made a lot of inspections. So I paint some scratches to make it look more realistic. engine still doesn't look great, so I use technique of a dry brushing with silver color to add more details. I highlight all the details very simply and quickly. The plane which I am painting has a desert camouflage. There is usually sand in desert and sand gets everywhere. So the engine must be very dusty. I imitate dust on my model. For this purpose it is great to use dry pigments, but be careful not to do overdo it. Now I paint the engine gondola. The green color is interior green XF71 and I coat everything with clear varnish when the paint dries. The wash is Tamiya Panline Black. I wait until it becomes dry and then I remove excess wash with Tamiya X20 film. I painted the pipeline with copper coal, but it would be better to use brass. The 
Then I painted the exhaust with gun metal and glue them to the engine. I used dry pigments again, but this time they are rust shades. Black pigment for smoked blackened effect made by exhaust flames. I softly wash off rust pigments with cotton swab moisten it with water, so afterward there is going to be visible the base gun metal color. A few highlights with light green color. I had to add a lot of wires into the engine to make it more realistic. The material I am using is a lead fishing wire. And that is all for today, thanks for watching.